Hello everyone, this is Crypto Maximalist. Welcome back to another video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and get involved if you like the content. We're currently running a giveaway for those who are liking our videos, so give the video a like if you want to be entered into that giveaway. So just taking a quick look at Chainlink here, and as we can see, looking like we are still putting in that range that we were talking about here. You can see if we just extend this out, that is quite clear that we've come down, we've retested that low yet again here. We actually did come down and close lower than we previously did outside that previous range. You can see we've actually closed technically lower here than we have basically, you know, ever in the past uh, in, the, in this range area here in recent memory on this chart, ever since we were all the way back here. We've actually closed outside the range here. We had a day where we came down. Obviously, we've had a very bullish reversal sign here. And then we've obviously had a big bullish candle to come back inside that range and the wider range as well. Obviously, these huge bullish divergences cannot be ignored. As we said in our previous video, and we will continue to say it, like broken records. We've actually come down here and closed a lower low in terms of the price action. And we've got this higher low. Look at this RSI. I mean, it's nowhere near oversold, is it? And we're still just trickling to the downside, making technically lower lows on the price chart. Very interesting to see, in our opinion, especially on the daily time frame where there's a lot of credence for the, you know, the price action to have strong, you know, it's basically based on strong fundamentals, a long time period to, to basically come to fruition. And, you know, you can see here we came down, we closed outside the range. We got one day where we had a pickup off the low and we've come back inside the range with a very nice amount of volume. And a good amount of, you know, you can see on the hourly exactly what's happened, really. We obviously came down, support, resistance, support. We come down here, support. We get a little overextension here, but these bullish divergences in the local area, we pick up off the low, come inside again, and now looking like we're heading back up towards the top of the range, in our opinion. We've had a 50% retracement off that low back to the middle of the range here. Currently at around $6.50, just basically bang in the middle of this small range we have outlined and looking most likely to be coming up and targeting this above this $7 level and in the middle of that wider range as well. So chain it looking good, showing strength, you know, trading solidly, not doing anything weird. You know, you probably could have predicted that this would happen if you looked at these kinds of metrics. Once we started to come down into this area here, getting that overextension, but there's not really any strength to the price action. Just like there, was, there wasn't any strength to the price action to the downside with Bitcoin. You get the bullish divergences followed by the pickup off the low, which is what we got for Bitcoin as well. And now looking like Chainlink, you know, it's just back in the range. And you know what we say? We trade the range until it is broken and back tested. So we probably expect Chainlink here to come back up to the top of the range as our price target to the upside at around that $7.35 level. And obviously, if we roll over, we'll probably come back down, retest some of these levels here at $6, maybe even as low as that level down there at $5.60, depending on what Bitcoin does. So, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the description below to support the channel. Grab yourself some free money bonuses, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.